have had Botox actually. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my Q&A for February. I'm starting to do a Q&A once a month. I'm also going to be eating my lunch while I talk to you guys and answer your questions. Today for lunch, I'm eating a Dijon steak and Swiss sandwich. Look how amazing that looks. Doesn't that look good? This is by Home Chef. And in today's video, I've actually partnered with Home Chef. So thank you, Home Chef, for sponsoring today's video. Really fast, I just wanted to share a little bit about Home Chef before we get in with the Q&A. If you guys follow me on my channel, you know I love Home Chef. I've talked about them so many times before. But if you're not familiar, Home Chef is a meal delivery service. They ship you meals right to your front door. You're able to completely customize your box. You're able to pick your meals. You're able to choose how many meals. You're never under any kind of contract, so you can always cancel at any time or pause your account if you go on vacation or something like that. I love Home Chef because they make cooking and meal planning easy. We treat ourselves to Home Chef one to two times a month, but one of my favorite meals that they offer are their five minute lunches, which is actually what I'm eating right now. It makes lunchtime so easy, plus you have a good delicious option. But when you order a Home Chef box, everything comes pre-packaged and pre-proportioned, so you always have the exact amount of ingredients that you need in order to prepare your healthy and home-cooked meal. But if you guys wanna try Home Chef out for yourself I have a discount code it's Caitlin 33 and that'll get you $30 off your very first box which makes trying home chef extremely affordable but those of you who have tried it tell me how much you love it so if you haven't tried it yet now's the time I think you guys will love it but anyways let's go ahead and jump on into this Q&A I also want to take a bite of this and see what it tastes like so let's let me dive into this so good first question is how have your tattoos healed up can we have a close-up look so if you guys Follow me, you know I've recently gotten two new tattoos and yeah, I can totally show you. So this is my sister tattoo. I'm the oldest of the four and they, I mean it bled a little bit in the corners of the triangles but overall it healed really well. This is my second tattoo but it's Scarlett's name and this one is super fine line and it healed flawlessly. Like there's no bleeding. It did really, really well, thank goodness, because this is one that if it bled, it would have looked really bad. So I'm really happy with how this one turned out. I actually tried to go get another tattoo with my friend Katie when we were back in Kansas. Um, actually, I'm not gonna tell you what it was, but I was gonna get it right here, but they were not accepting walk-ins and so we did not have the opportunity to do it. But I do have plans for more. I really want more, a lot more. This one says kind of dark, sorry. But do you ever think about these videos being up after you die? And that's so funny. I totally think about that. And it does kind of weird me out. How did your relationship with Ty change after Scarlett's arrival? I think in any marriage, whenever a baby comes along, it definitely challenges things and makes things a little bit more just different in a relationship. I think for us, it just made us realize we had to work harder at our marriage and making each other a priority. And I think overall, just having a child, we realize how much time and how important your relationship is and how much more effort you have to put into your marriage and your relationship in order to keep it strong and healthy. And so we, I mean, we've definitely had ups and downs, but that is, I think the main thing that's changed and that's opened our eyes and made us realize um, after having a baby. I'm sorry if the lighting keeps going in and out. It's like a really cloudy day in Arizona right now, but I don't, I'm using natural light right now. And so the sun keeps going away. So I apologize. Did you have a boob job? I wish I had a boob job. Do you ever feel like you maybe focus too much on a perfect image slash appearance? I definitely do not think that I portray a perfect image. You guys may think otherwise, but I feel like I kind of tell you guys how it is. I think I said this in my, um, my assumptions video. I don't want to be perfect. I don't want to portray a perfect image because that's not real life and that is not what I'm about. When it comes to my appearance, I feel more confident when I look put together and look nice and I don't really think that's me focusing too much on my appearance. I think that's just me recognizing what I need as a person in order to feel my best. What does celery juice taste like? Surprisingly, I've gotten this question so many times. Celery juice, believe it or not, tastes like straight up celery. Um, if you don't like celery, you're probably not gonna like celery juice because it tastes identical. I saw somewhere that I got a question about like an update on how celery juicing is going. And I'll just quickly give you guys a um, quick update. So first of all, the reason I'm drinking celery juice every single morning is because it's making me feel really, really good. Celery juice is really high in vitamin C and vitamin K. It reduces inflammation and it also boosts your cardiovascular system. And overall, what I've noticed from doing celery juice, I did it every day for I think eight days and then I had to take a 
break um, because I was on our staycation and now I'm doing it again. What I've noticed the most is a decrease in bloating, which is why I really wanted to do that because I get really bloated. I also noticed a regular digestive system. My skin has felt super hydrated and I've just overall felt better. It's also replaced my morning coffee, which is crazy to say because you guys know I'm an avid morning coffee drinker, but I haven't felt the need to drink my morning coffee. I've still been drinking coffee. I just have an afternoon coffee. So those are the main things that I'm noticing and I have no plans to stop. I love it. I I love the way it makes me feel and I don't necessarily enjoy the taste it's not something that I enjoy drinking it's just something that I know makes me feel better so you just do it would you ever consider going vegan slash vegetarian um no <laughs> having a toddler and maintaining your sex life with your husband how <laughs> hashtag send help you just have to make time like I I've gotten lots of questions like this you just have to make your significant other a priority doesn't matter if you're tired, doesn't matter if you don't want to. Well, that sounds really bad. I'm just saying, like what I'm trying to say is you just have to make it a priority in your relationship if it needs to be a priority. That's it. Any hobbies? Uh, honestly, I feel like my social media is kind of a hobby and same with YouTube. I do it because I enjoy it and um, it, all, it all started out as a hobby and it's kind of turned into a small business, but for the most part, it's my hobby as well. But I love photography, but that kind of ties into social media, but I've always loved photography. That's always been a huge hobby of mine. Ever been in trouble with the law? Um, no, never. I've never even gotten a speeding ticket. Favorite drink? My favorite alcoholic drinks are the Truly's Sparkling Waters. Those are so good. My favorite like go-to bar drink is a um, like a cranberry vodka or an amaretto sour. What is your Starbucks order? Uh, I don't have a specific order. I order so many different things, but I would say my two main ones are a caramel macchiato with coconut milk or just a iced um, vanilla latte, something like that. Where do you get your energy? I have to nap when my daughter does, but you always get shit done like a badass. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I think it's just my personality. I am just a natural go-getter that is just my personality i can't take naps i straight up if i laid down i don't even think i could take naps if i was so tired even when scarlet was a newborn i could not nap throughout the day even though i was exhausted that's just my personality i enjoy accomplishing tasks throughout the day and if i don't i don't feel good at the end of the day what are you planning on for scarlet public private or homeschool so I actually have gotten this question asked a lot too. I've been starting thinking about school a lot and I started looking into some, I've mentioned before, I would love to get her into a Montessori style school because I feel like she would benefit from that the most. I don't know if that's what we'll do. Um, I'm not against public schools. There's so many private schools out here. There's so many charter schools out here. Whatever I tour and feel like is the best fit for us, that's what we'll go with. Um, I do not want to homeschool at all. I will say that now, I'm not against homeschooling, but I strongly feel like I am not the only person who can teach Scarlett. I feel like she'll benefit learning from others besides myself. I feel like she needs that challenge in a social, um, like a social environment as well. And so I will definitely be putting her in school. Homeschool has never even been a thought on my mind. Is it weird filming yourself? It's so weird. I feel like such a weirdo sometimes, especially when I'm in public and like somebody notices me like filming myself. It's so weird. I'm, I'm not used to it. I don't think I ever will be. How do you and your husband budget? Do you have fun money? We don't really budget. I'm not going to lie. Um, we're really bad about budgeting. Ty kind of buys what he wants. I buy what I want. Like we don't, we don't ever fight over money. Um, thankfully, I know that's a huge it's a huge thing couples fight about but thankfully that's not an issue in our marriage it has been in the past but um currently it's not that's one thing we actually could get better at is budgeting and just being more aware of our money but um we're definitely not there right now how's potty training going well i stopped potty training with scarlet we are just rolling with it uh, i'm not forcing it i'm just gonna let it happen today this morning she did really really good she um only had one accident and was running to the potty so i'm just trying to go at her pace and i wouldn't say we're potty training i'm just giving her space and when she's ready she's ready if scarlet wakes up in the middle of the night do you let her figure it out or give her warm milk. I don't remember the last time she woke up in the middle of the night, thankfully, but if she did wake up crying, I wouldn't offer her milk um, unless she was like unconsolable and that just seemed like the right thing to do. Typically, if she wakes up, 
she just can't find lilac her slumberkins or something like that so i just we go in there and put her back down. Thankfully, we don't struggle with that at all. Did you stop taking Scarlett to daycare a couple times a week? So yes, I did. Um, we stopped taking her when she had her surgery um, on her hips. And when she was healed and out of her cast, they were full at the daycare because she was just a drop-in at the daycare. And so that spot was filled. And so unfortunately, we... I mean, I haven't even checked with them, but we just stopped going. I would love for her to be going because it was really good for her and good for um, myself as well. So I do want to get something set up here in the future, hopefully, but for now, she's not doing anything. I would love if you could touch on any work you've had done and whether you would do it again, like microblading, Botox fillers. What did you like, dislike about it? If you haven't had anything done, do you contemplate it seeing as to how so many more women are doing it now, especially those with social media platforms. Um, okay, so believe it or not, I have had cosmetic cosmetic work done. Um, other than microblading, I have had Botox actually. Before y'all freak out, um, let me just, let's just tell a story really fast. When I was maybe 12 or 13, back in middle school, going through puberty, and I've never told this story on my channel before, but I sweated profusely. I sweated so much under my arms that I would just be sitting in class and I would have like massive pit stains and I wouldn't even be hot. I was just sweating. <laughs> Sounds so disgusting. Being a 13 year old or 12 year old, however old I was going through puberty, it was incredibly embarrassing. I would get made fun of. I would always have to have a jacket with me so I could throw it on over my, my t-shirt because I knew I'd be sweating and I didn't want people to notice. My mom got me prescriptions for different types of deodorant to, to stop that and to help it. And unfortunately it did not work at all. And so the next option was to actually get Botox in my armpits, you guys, like what? So I had Botox when I was 13 years old in my armpits, 20 shots in each armpit. And you guys, it worked, <laughs> it totally worked. Um, my issues were over and I felt so much more confident and I just felt better being that insecure teenage girl that I was at that time. And oh my gosh, I would do it all over again. I was so thankful my mom took me to do that because it did wonders. Thankfully, I've outgrown that. That's not like something that still is happening today. That was just a puberty thing, but I've never shared that before. And I look back now and I think it's kind of hilarious to be honest. So yes, I have had Botox. Not the Botox you guys are thinking of, but um, yes, I have done that. Would I ever do it in my face? Yeah, I probably would. But Ty has told me he does not want me to do that, so I probably won't um, because his opinion means a lot to me. I've had microblading done. That's not really, I don't know if that's, is that a cosmetic procedure? I don't know. Um, I love my eyebrows being microbladed. I would recommend that 100%. And if I had the opportunity to get some lip fillers, I'd probably do it. I would love to get a boob job, and Ty's all for that. <laughs> if we want to visit Arizona, where would you tell us is a must-see? It really just depends. There is so much to Arizona. It depends on what kind of scenery you want to see. You can go over to the Grand Canyon. That's one type of scenery. You can go to Flagstaff and that's like a mountain town with snow top mountains and pine trees. Or you can go to Sedona and see the Red Rocks. Or you can come to the Valley of Phoenix and see desert landscaping. So it really just depends on what style of setting you're wanting to see. Arizona is so incredibly beautiful. There is so much in this state, it's insane. Do you have any stretch marks from being pregnant? I have a few, like the white ones, like I don't even know if you would be able to notice, but I know they're there um, on my hips. Why don't you go out as much with Ty and other couples? That's a great question. So my friends here, um, Actually, it's funny, Ty just had a dad's night out last night with my friend's husband. The reason we don't all go out together is because some of my friends aren't comfortable leaving their babies yet, and so, I mean, we're ready. We're ready to go out with other couples, but we just don't have the opportunity yet because they don't have the opportunity to have a babysitter and go out as a couple with all of us. Um, but that is something my friends and I have been talking about. We really want everybody to come out all together eventually, and so hopefully here soon we can start doing that. Um, because I would love to go out with everyone, but right now we're just having mom's nights and dad's nights. Are you and Ty planning a big vacation with Scarlett soon? 
Uh, no, not really. Our vacations consist of going to Kansas, unfortunately. Um, not unfortunately, that's not a bad thing. I love going to see my family, but whenever we travel, it's typically to Kansas. Um, however, we're trying to branch out and do some more things like weekend getaways and stuff like that. So maybe we can do a family weekend getaway with Scarlett, I don't know. Um, but I'm really looking forward to Ty and I's little weekend getaway. That's actually this weekend. We're going to Huntington Beach. How are you able to keep sane all day? Do you take breaks during nap time? So I actually did an entire vlog video over this. I'll link it down below. I think I titled it how to stay sane as a stay at home mom. And I touch on all of that. So if you guys are wondering that, go watch that video. If Scarlett would have been a boy, what would the name have been? So at the time, which it's different now, but at the time if Scarlett would have been a boy, we probably would have named him Roman. Ty and I love the name Roman and I've always loved it. I still like it. Roman Nyer just sounds like such a strong, good name. But if we were to have a boy, it would be different. It would be something more meaningful and um, we have it already picked out. Did you ever feel embarrassed starting YouTube like when you had under a thousand subs? Yes, totally. I mean, it's still kind of weird to talk about when I'm introducing myself or meeting somebody new and explaining what I do. I'm like, hey, I'm Caitlin. I make videos and I film myself daily. Like, that's weird. So when I first told my family I was starting YouTube, they were kind of like, okay, all right, cool, Caitlin. Same with Ty. Like, nobody took it very seriously. And, um, I mean, they were just kind of all like, okay, do your thing. My mom was worried about, um, like, privacy or, like, security things, like, making sure that we stayed safe and everything as she should be. But um, for the most part, I don't really think anybody took me seriously, which is fine. My friends and family do now. And I know my mom's really proud of me and Ty's really proud of me and my family and friends totally support what I do. So now it's, it's much more comfortable talking about it. But in the beginning, it was kind of like, what are you doing, Caitlin? Did you ever have any problems getting along with in-laws? Never. I love my in-laws. I'm so thankful to have amazing in-laws. So we've never had issues at all. If you had another baby today, what would you name them? So I'll tell you the girl name. I'm not going to tell you the boy name because if we have a boy, we're pretty set on this name. And I don't know if Ty wants me to say it um, if we ever do have another child. But if we had another girl, I'm going to tell you guys because I know Ty doesn't like this name, but I love it. And if we had another girl and I got to choose the name, it would be Sadie. I love the name Sadie. I think Sadie and Scarlett go so cute together. I really liked the name Sadie when I was pregnant with Scarlett and it's kind of stuck with me ever since. Did you like the work you did before Scarlett? I did. I loved my job. I loved the people I worked with. Uh, I felt good about the work that I was doing and I felt like I was helping in a small amount of way in these children's lives um, because before I was a stay-at-home mom, I worked in the behavioral health field. I was a case manager for children with intensive behavioral health needs and it was a very, very tough and exhausting job and um, I mean, you were dealing with real life. Like that was real life, sad situations. Some of the stories, some of the cases that I worked on were just insane. And obviously I can never talk about them, but you guys, like, if you think you have it bad, think again. That job has really put my life into perspective and I am so thankful I did the work that I did. I don't ever want to do it again because it is so emotionally draining, but I'm so happy I was opened up to that world and it just made me appreciate the life that I have so much more. Do you have a hard time not comparing your life to other stay-at-home moms on YouTube? Honestly, not really. I feel like I'm not the kind of person who compares myself to other people. Honestly, I feel like I just try to do me. I think naturally women compare themselves, so I'm not saying I never feel that comparison, but I would say overall, whenever I'm down or whenever I'm not feeling myself, it's not because I'm comparing myself to somebody else and I want what somebody else has. It's nothing like that. Like that's not what upsets me. Do you feel pressure to act, look a certain way when filming? I don't, I wouldn't say I feel pressure, but I would say that when I am filming myself, I feel a heck of a lot better. And I feel like I can sense it in my personality when I'm editing and stuff. I feel like I can sense it. I feel more like myself when I'm put together, when I'm not put together, when I have no makeup on and when I'm just like <laughs> dragging throughout the day and I'm filming myself, I can feel a lack of energy. And maybe you guys notice this too. If you went to an interview and you didn't put yourself together, you were wearing something that wasn't appropriate for the job and your hair was a mess, you'd probably not feel yourself and you probably wouldn't do the best interview. 
However, if you're put together and you're feeling your best on the outside and on the inside, then you'd probably be 100% at the interview. What would you think or say if you found out one of Ty's exes watched your videos? I honestly wouldn't really care. I don't think that really bothers me. What are your favorite things to do with Ty? Date nights, downtimes, home, and travel. Um, my favorite date nights, and I talked about this on my Instagram story the other day, is going bowling. I love bowling. That's like one thing I can sometimes beat Ty at. Typically he ends up winning, but for the most part, sometimes I can beat him. And we're super competitive. Like both of us are just competitive in nature. And so it's a fun thing for me to do with him. Did Ty's parents move out to Arizona with you? Wondering how his parents ended up there if you're both from Kansas. So his mom lives out here and then his dad and stepmom live out here as well. And um, they moved out here a long, long time ago. And Ty and I actually ended up moving out here after they had already lived in Arizona for a few years. So they moved out here first and then we actually followed them. What's the status with Scarlett and her recovery from hip dysplasia? Is she all clear now? So at her last appointment, which was back in November, December, something like that, um, when she had another set of x-rays, everything was great and the surgery was completely successful and we were in the clear. Anything could change as she grows, so that's why we go back twice a year for more x-rays just to monitor her hips as she does start to develop and grow a little bit more. I told you guys this in a couple vlogs ago, but we just scheduled her next appointment in May, so we'll go back for more x-rays and hopefully it's nothing but good news. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would you want to live? I don't really care. I would just love to live on the beach, honestly. Like, that is my dream. I would love to have a house on the beach and wake up to the beach every single morning. That would just be the best. Were you or are you a party girl? Um, I mean, I like to have a good time. I don't think I was ever a huge party girl, especially in school. I don't think anybody would ever classify me or any of my friends growing up in high school or college would ever classify me as a huge party girl. There was a, like, maybe a good period of time after college when my last relationship was ending before I met Ty that I was kind of partying more than normal with my friend, Jesse. But honestly, I feel like I needed that and I needed to get that out of my system. We would just go out a lot more than normal. <laughs> I joke with Jesse a lot. He sends me memories and stuff like that of the times we used to have together and I'm like, oh my gosh, I miss those days. I am so happy we had those days. I miss him. I need to take a trip out to see him. He lives in, um, in Oklahoma. But I never did drugs or anything. Like I've never been into that kind of scene. I was just into alcohol, like <laughs> especially in high school. I tell my husband, I'm like, nobody did drugs in my school. And maybe I'm that naive, but I feel like I was at most of the parties and nobody did drugs. But he's like, I guarantee people did drugs at your high school. And I'm like, I don't really think they did. If you could be another type of YouTuber, what would you be? ASMR. Did you have Scarlet before you were married? No, I did not. I was married, but I did get pregnant before I was married. Why don't you get a bigger car? Because I don't want a car payment. Our car is paid off and I'm not about that car payment life. And honestly, I don't really think it's necessary. I have one child. <laughs> <laughs> this person asked me, are you in a relationship? Well, yes, yes I am, I'm married. What is your favorite book? I'm sorry to tell you guys that I don't read books. Um, I don't remember the last time I read a book, which is really sad to say. Okay, you guys, that wraps up today's q and I hope you guys enjoyed February's Q&A, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, you can follow me over on Instagram. Instagram is typically where I ask for you guys to submit me questions to answer in these videos. So give me a follow over there. I'll leave my handle right here. Don't forget to check out Home Chef. I'm almost done with my sandwich. But if you guys want to try something super easy for meals for your week, try Home Chef. It's so delicious. You guys will love it. Use my code Caitlin30 free to get $30 off your first box. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.